Mr. John, and Miss Tracy. Sister Tracy. Sister Tracy. Yes. Well, your test result is here. And it appears that you both will not be able to get married. Excuse me? What does that mean, Doctor? What are you saying? It says both of your genotype is AS, which automatically puts your future children in danger. <sighs> My future children are covered in the blood of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. Oh. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the Sister Tracy, Mr. John, this is not a church. This is a hospital. And this is not about the blood of Jesus or not. I am a believer as well. I am a good Christian. And your pastor, I'm certain, he would be against your decision as well. Doctor, you don't know my pastor, please. I can't say that about my pastor, my own pastor, Papa the General. If Papa the General were to be here, he would be saying the same thing. See, Doctor, we have heard you. Mm. But more importantly, we have heard him. Oh, we have. The one who made us. Jesus. Mm? And that one who made us, the I am that I am, oh. the mighty breasted one, he showed her to me in his yes. dream. Oh, same here. My Adam. My Eve. Oh. I prayed. We prayed, we fasted, and God revealed it to us. He said, this is the rib of your rib, the flesh of your flesh. Oh, Jesus. Oh. So, doctor, what we are saying hmm, is that if we decide to leave the spiritual realm and come to the carnal realm where you are, hmm, let's just see. The probability is low. Because all we want is two children. Yes. Mm? yes. So what is written on your paper doesn't matter because we're following what is written in the word of God. I do not think you both understand me. Should you have children and they have sickle cell disease, both of your lives to the end of your marriage will be altered. Let's not even talk about the constant panic, the fear, and the money you'd have to spend on that child. Our oh, God is sufficient enough. Oh, sure, sure. He is sufficient to provide. Oh, oh Jesus. The hope of Jaya. The Alpha and the Omega. He will provide. What God cannot do does not exist. Hmm? All right, see. This is not about what God can't do or cannot do. All right? This is about endangering the lives of those innocent children because of your selfishness, your self-centeredness, your non-challenged attitude, and your willful ignorance. I cannot sit here and listen to you talk about my God like that. My own God? Doctor, no. I will not sit here and watch you open your mouth and say all these things about my God. <laughs> Doctor, the both of us, we love each other. Mm -hmm. The both of us. We are going to get married whether the devil likes it or not. Yes. In fact, this result, Lord of Jesus, I destroy you in the name of the Father. Yes. In the name of the Son. Mm -hmm. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Yes. We are not what this result say we are. We are children of the Most High. We shall get married because God has willed it so. Sickle cell or not, we shall get married in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Doctor, mm. if there's nothing else, mm. it is finished. It is finished. Well, it seems as though both of your minds are made up. So sorry, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. This is also part of your test results. Thank you so much. So you, you can take your leave. Has our God done it? Has our God shamed the devil? Oh, Lord. Sit and shame unto you. All power belongs to Jesus. Sit and shame unto you. All the power belongs to my God. Oh. All right. So, um, would you still be defending your love? Mm -hmm. Your amazing love. And your pregnancy. Ah! Pregnant? You don't know. You don't Sister Tracy. It's going on. <laughs> Who's your Adam? Eh? What do you... 
The Bible said that a marriage is blessed if the bed is undefiled. We did not defile the bed. We are keeping ourselves for our love, for our God, and for the wedding night. How is this possible? Oh. He's a God of impossibility. What type of plane is this? Doctor, check my blood pressure. Thank God we, we check it for you. 